I'm sorry, but you're going to have to follow me here on a few things. Um, the image I had as I was praying through this gospel this morning was a fish on a hook. And you're saying, what? Well, hopefully this will make sense to you. It kind of made sense to me. But there is this bait in the world saying, this is more important, this is more important, this is more important, this is more important. And we eat that bait and we get hooked. And the Lord says, come to the feast, come to the bank. I would, but, ah, this, this other thing. And those times when we recognize this call to the banquet, this call, of course, to the Eucharist and, of course, to the heavenly banquet, we, we recognize this call and say, Yes, Lord, help me to get off this hook. Set me free from these things which are our attachments that keep me from going to you, Lord. And he does. But then what happens? That worm's looking really good. And I know I got caught last time, but still the worm tasted good. And we go back and we get hooked again. Maybe, maybe not you. Maybe it's just me. I know this is me. This is my life. The story of my life. And I say, Lord, I want to give everything to you. He says, and I want to receive everything from you. And I say, great, set me free from this hook, which is, and he does. But then, ah, ugh, ugh. St. Peter has another way of saying this in his, his letter. He says, a dog goes back to his vomit. Uh, and yet, that, that's what we keep doing. It's what I keep doing. The Lord is saying, everything is prepared. I have this banquet for you. Will you separate yourself from the lesser important things in order to go to the most important thing? You've probably heard the saying before that the greatest enemy of the best is the good. Because we go after the good and when we fill our hands with the things that are good, we can't have space for that which is the best. But this is good. Yes, yes, this is good. But sometimes we have to let go even of the good for the best. I mean, you look at the excuses. You know, I purchased a field and have to examine it. That's good. It's a good thing to do. I purchased five yoke of oxen and on my way to evaluate them. Yes, this is good. I've just married a woman and therefore I cannot come. He doesn't say any excuse why. I don't know if it was his wife didn't want him going or what, what the issue was. But all these things are good. But we have to let go of the good for the best. And the psalm today uh, is one of my favorite psalms and we heard it on Sunday as well. Uh, Psalm 131 In you, O Lord, I have found my peace I have stilled and quieted myself like my soul like a weaned child like a weaned child on its mother's lap so is my soul within me Now, one of the commentators I read for this past weekend said that it's not actually weaned in terms of no longer uh, needing to nurse but rather in the sense that this child has just had his fill or her fill, and so is at peace because she's, he'd been satiated already. <coughs> we look and say, okay, this child at peace in his mother's lap. And this is where the Lord is inviting us. He says, you go seeking after these lesser goods, and I'm not even saying evils, but lesser goods. He says, if you would just rest in my arms, this is where you'll find your peace. Seek after me. Lord, we ask that you help us to be set free from this fishing hook which lures us away from the best by lesser goods. We ask, Lord, that you help us to recognize we're called to rest in your arms, to seek you first, to have you as the central focus of our lives so that we can come to this feast, the banquet of the Eucharist, the eternal wedding feast of the Lamb.